the rain, pure, uh, everything I have is pure now. I took all the soul out. So for those of you that know about that, and pure is amazing. You could do a lot of things and I'll show you right here. And I got some drift car uh, in the links in the description and I'm gonna show you some of those cars that I got for you guys. So check this out. This is how you do the rain. I'm even gonna show you how to do this camera real quick. So once you got the rain pure, right? And everything, I'm, I'm figuring that you know how to set it in, right? You're gonna tap on the left over here, just with your mouse, and you're gonna take out the pure. Now there's pure config and the pure uh, programmer situation. Pop. And they're two different, two different ones. I'm not gonna deal with this today, right now, because to be honest, I haven't really dealt with it too much. So, I'm just gonna deal with the easier stuff for you to get the rain like immediately once everything is settled in there and you wanna start playing, right? So if I wanna shut the rain off, all these three things are gonna pop out. I'll just to the side right there. As a matter of fact, this pops out once you click on setting. You see it goes away? So you know the setting icon? You click on the setting icon? Because other than that, you could just automatically these pop up. So you could just go like this and you're having a different day. And without saving it or anything. So this is the cool thing. I like this slider. Some people don't like it. Some people, you know what it is? Change, you got to get used to change. Change is good, but it, 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 it comes with a little uncomfortability. And not for nothing, I'm kind of like liking pure here when it comes to the clouds. Because you can set it on your own, like darker or brighter. And there was times that I'll do it on soul. And I, and I didn't know, like, like if that's what you're getting. The cloud is like that, and that's that. You either change to another cloud or what have you, right? So I like the fact that you could just put this here like that. Bop, hit settings. Add some rain if you would like. Not too much, right? Or not too little. It's still raining there. So then you add the wetness to your floor here too. You could put it less like when it first starts dropping, like when you outside and the drops first start dropping. Look at how realistic it got. When I put it up, you see more drops. You see it? Right? So now, if you, you know that wet look that people be taking the pictures and setting up the cars, right? <laughs> I'm about to show you that right now, bro. Here we go. You ready? The floor is drenched. Now, if you want water, you add more water to it. Right? So you're gonna see like little puddles of water popping up soon. Like you see right there in the corner, like a little puddle of water there, right? Now you could put up the mist, the humidity. I'm not gonna deal with none of that. I like to leave it just where it's at for me, right? Up here, I tried this yesterday. Up here, you tap right here where the circle is at, this black circle. You see this? And you tap on this circle and I, and. Look, and then you right click and it shows you different scenes of the situation. And that'll be, I guess, where your camera will be looking from time to time. Because just for right now, like, why would you add this? Somebody, we was talking about this. At a certain time, you can set the time for it to stop raining. Like at one o'clock, you could put it, there's no rain, you're driving. Then at two o'clock, you could put it to switch to something else while you just here, you can save it. 
You get it? So you don't gotta keep going back and forth during your gameplay. Two minutes in your game, it could start raining on you. You get it? So, that's kind of neat. I'm still trying to figure this out right here, to be real with you. I just got a little paranoid there when it, it threw me off, like it disappeared. But it's for this. You right click and it'll take you to a different part of the screen. You get it? And it turned black, black moon. I didn't know it was gonna do all that, to be realistic. But that was crazy. How do I get my stuff back? Okay, here we go. So it really got black. So I guess that has to do with all that. This is cool right there too. It's not too dark, it's nice and bright. So there's a lot that you could do with Pure straight, straight up after once you got it and then learn how to deal with stuff. You can save it. There's a lot of different spots. Uh, to save I think he a left click to save as I don't know a cycle plan me personally I'm just gonna not do that right now but I'm pretty sure that's where you save it as self-explanatory says save there and in the bottom here is for this light what it says and this is a multiplier like a time multiplier Bottom line is there's a lot of things that you could do, bro, with this. A whole lot. And I think it's amazing uh, how you can make something look so realistic. I have it on candy right now, so pure, you could, you could put it on different things. And even in here, I saw a guy change it to like candy and different things of pure. So my setup right now is on candy, pure candy you know there's different i'm figuring you know a little bit about it right so now when it comes to the camera that i was just showing you like this for the car this is amazing you want to make sure that you match this with your wheel with your driving wheel like that it's right in the middle right like mine's it's in the middle of my driving wheel so i feel comfortable i feel like i'm in this you heard? Huh? So, when you press here, it goes down on the top here. When you go here, all right, so where you get this from, you get it from first person camera and it's in the pure. You press up here on all apps, pop, and they pop out and you look for it here. This is how I put this over here where I shift, you see it. How I put the gears, they out, you see? Look, it's gonna disappear from here. And, you know, it's gonna disappear. Pop, you see it? That disappeared. The gears pop on the corner, down the corner on the left. Pop, every time I press it. So you could have them not there or there. Sometimes I like to see them, I don't know why. But, pop, this pops out when you look for it within the app. You drag it to wherever you want to. You can make it bigger with these things up here. Or you can make it smaller, it depends. So you don't gotta wear your glasses that day. <laughs> Vice versa, one side makes it smaller, the other side makes it bigger. So, just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna make it pretty big to be fair to everyone. So right here where it says global settings, it's like it goes in or out. Like tiny, like up close like that. There's people that like it that way. I like it on 66. I don't know why the numbers weren't switching even before. That, that's, that wasn't happening when I had uh, <laughs> so, but it is what it is, bro. I could deal with a little knack, a little thing. So I like to keep it on 66. Right? This whole uh, seat position, you could play with that. I don't know why the number is not here. There wasn't, there's always a number. Let me see if I take it out and get it again. 
Maybe it's acting up. You see, I'm getting it right now again. I tap my mouse to there. Pop. It's still not here. All right, cool. So I guess it could be set to what the car is set to, but this is how you make the guy come all 